today i will be talking about the modernist movement in english literature now, modern poetry as we understand is something uh, that appears aggressively and consciously different in important ways from the poetry of the past the modernist movement uh, can be said to start from the last years of 19th century that is 1895 and it ended in 1945 post the world war second although we see traces of modernism from the 19th century as in the writings of henry james and joseph conrad but it is after uh, world war first that modernism found a location it uh, became uh, to be recognized as a uh, modern is a movement the uh, modernist period was marked by a strong and intentional break with tradition the modernists were cut from the past and uh, this break includes strong reaction against religion political and social views moreover the thoughts were influenced by the latest discoveries in science and psychology and now some of the notable theories are uh, the theories of charles darwin the evolution of mankind and uh, from sigmund freud the analysis of dreams as we all would have read his famous book the the dream analysis so these uh, were uh, strong influences on the modern literature now the victorians accepted the theories but they uh, tried to strike a balance between the culture and the uh, development the scientific development but the modernist literature was influenced by globalization and industrialization the new technology and the two wars had a lasting impact on the modern literature now the modernist uh, literature was also influenced by uh, the russian revolution in russia and the marxist movement which was taking place in eastern europe so uh, these uh, also had a lasting impact on the modernist movement. Now, if we look at the characteristics of modernism, uh, exact description of mood, and no spontaneous overflow of ideas, as Wordsworth had described poetry, as we saw in the Romantic poetry, and modernist literature was experimentative, experimenting with new subjects for poetry. It was not linear; it was irregular verse. like uh, uh, there was no uh, like it is beginning then middle and end it had irregular verse and especially the stream of consciousness techniques as we see in james joyce's and virginia woolf's poetry and uh, novels <laughs> they use stream of consciousness techniques where wherein the character keeps on going back and forth in time then a modernist literature was complex and difficult to comprehend and only the literary expert could only understand that the modernists saw the decline of uh, civilization as the germanal uh, german philosopher nietzsche has also come with the concept of death of god and it is said that the world before the 20th century was governed by god but now since they were seeing so many wars so many destruction so much destruction so uh, it this movement also picked up that god seems not to be controlling the world now now many of the poets took part in this war also and so they saw how the ugly side of war was and they couldn't glorify the war as the poets of the past now in the, uh, the modernist literature if we describe in the words of ezra pound he said that uh, make it new make it strange and that is the special quality of modernist movement that it is uh, very uh, unique very different very complex to understand it was disconnected with history because they were cut off from the past so they wanted to create something new and the important movements which come meet the modernist movement modernist movement is an amalgamation of many movements they are art for art's sake 
This is from the famous uh, French modernist Victor John. He meant that art should not be used for preaching religion or imparting political views on people. Earlier in the Victorian period, as we have seen in many novels and poetry, they definitely used to have a one moral, like all the novels of Charles Dickens. But here in modern, uh, in the art for art sake movement, he said that let art be for the uh, purpose of art and not to convey any message of uh, some political views or religious views. And the second main feature of uh, modernism is imagism. It is it favors clear precision of imagery and clear sharp language. The third movement is fan de uh, siècle, which means the end of century, and it is definitely departure from the old and uh, moving towards the new form. Then we have the formalism movement. Formalism movement stressed the importance on form and technique rather than the content of the form. Then we have aestheticism. Uh, this supports aesthetic values more than social political themes for literature. As we have seen that modern literature is all about the art. It is not about uh, having some religious and political value. So aestheticism is also an important movement in a modernist movement. Then we have Impressionism. Impressionism is creating the impression of experience and the interpretation of the events and the purpose of the stories left to the readers. They will not uh, say that it, it's up to you how to interpret. Like in modern art, the interpretation is left to the, um, the, like the critic, not the painter. Then we have the symbolism movement. Uh, like use of symbols to represent ideas or qualities. And if we look at the symbolism, example of ex uh, symbolism, in the novel, The Portrait of uh, an Artist as a Young Man, James Joyce uses green roses to symbolize the Irish power and Irish history. So this is a very important aspect of modern literature. And then we have surrealism. Uh, it is juxtaposition of common image, really, like placing them side by side, comparing. Now, if we look at the, uh, some notable modernists, and then our first uh, comes to mind is Ezra Pound only. He was the poet and critic, and he is known for advancing the modernist movement more than anyone else. And then we have T.S. Eliot, although American, but he settled in England and uh, the Wasteland, his famous poem, is associated with London and emphasizes the emptiness of industrialization. Then we have James Joyce. He was from Ireland. And his most experimental and famous work is Ulysses, completely abandons generally accepted notions of plot, settings, and characters. Then we have Virginia Woolf, uh, her, her famous uh, the To the Lighthouse, as well as praised from conventional forms. Focusing on screen. Then we have D.H. Lawrence. His novels reflected on the dehumanizing effect of modern society. And we have Dylan Thomas. He was also very important uh, poet. His poems are uh, some of his great poems include "Do Not Go Gentle into the Good Night" and "And Death Shall Have No Dominion." was all about uh, the modernist movement and in further videos to come we'll be looking into different uh, poets and uh, their poems so thank you and if you like the video please subscribe like and share